Leviathan here, now that I've had the McLaren 650S for just over a year, probably thinking it's time I sell it. After all, YouTubers are known to cycle through cars on a yearly basis, and today we're going to do just that. In fact, we're going to post the car on an app called Let Go, and while the average price on the app is around $30, we're going to do a little experiment to see what it's like to sell a $300,000 car. So let's troll. Given the app has had over 70 million downloads, I'm sure we'll come across a few serious interested buyers. But let me just first address some of your thoughts. Do I really plan to replace the McLaren? Well, the answer is no, because my ideal replacement has just not been invented yet. You're probably thinking, whoa, there's so many faster cars out there. There's the 675LT, there's the 720S, there's a Ford GT, there's a Ferrari 488. The McLaren is now by many standards outdated, but that's where you go wrong because I don't look for a car just based on the shininess or performance. To me, it comes down to the experience that is right for me. I may look a little bit like Chris Harris, but I cannot drive anywhere like him. So for me, it really comes down to that driving experience. And to be honest, nothing beats the McLaren 650S. It's soft enough to put my dad to sleep, but fast enough to scare me. <laughs> In the past 10 minutes, I've had a lot of interesting conversations that I'm going to share the best ones with you. First one is from Caleb Bain. He says, Hi, is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Do you realize that you're selling a McLaren P1? I said, no, it's a McLaren 650S. He said, it's not a 650S. That's a McLaren P1, bro. A 650S isn't even a real car. I said, okay, thanks for letting me know. And next is Zach, who said, um, can I take it for a test drive first? I said, sure, absolutely. He's like, actually, could you just drive me to school tomorrow? It starts at 8, be here at Dundas and Mavis exactly at 8 a.m. And I will pay you $20 for drive to school. Wow. Okay, I don't think he is interested. Next is Abu Bakr Said has. His message was, hi, is the item still available? I said, yes, it's available. He said, how much and what's the best price? I said, 300,000. He said, wait, you mean 30,000, right? <laughs> I said, yeah, right. And he said, does it come with wheels? I can come and get it in a few days. And then I don't respond, so he gets a bit angry saying, you assume I don't have funds for this purchase. I said, correct. He said, I just landed from Hong Kong, bitch. I'll shove my so far down your throat, your future grave will feel it. And then he asked, can I come for a test drive? Wow, that, that's a good way to get a test drive. Honestly, if one of these guys actually wanted to come see the car right now, I'd gladly show it to them. Now we have Ray. Are you right in the head, bro? Why would you even sell this on Let Go? I said, it's a sales app after all. You're an ignorant fool. Can I book a few test drives? Wow. Um, simple lesson in life. If you want someone to do you a favor, don't call them names. Next, we have Damon Singh. Hi, is it still available? Yes, it is available. Can I come and pick it up today? He didn't respond for quite some time, and then he said, sorry, I got sidetracked. I was playing FIFA. <laughs> do you prefer cash or check? I said I prefer a wire transfer, and then he asked me what that was. Next, we have Cyrus. Hi, is it still available? Yes, it is still available. How much would you like to let it go for? Cash, $300,000. He said, okay, deal, let's do it. When do you wanna meet? I said, now. He said, okay, let me go get the cash. And I told him where I was, but he still hasn't shown up. Next, we have the Chevy guy who said, is the price negotiable? I said, absolutely, what's your offer? He responds with $5,000. He said, joking, I know you're fake as f Get a job, you bum, right? So those are just some of the responses you get trying to sell a $300,000 car. Obviously, I know that I would never really expect to sell 
this car on an app like that. But I just wanted to share some of the responses because it was kind of entertaining. I'll be honest, I was bored one day and I decided to just post my car for sale to see what the responses would be like. But the point really comes down to buying the right car as well. For me, it's not just a matter of buying the most powerful car out there. It really comes down to the driving experience that I get out of the 650S. I feel that these days a lot of people buy the car for the wrong reasons. It may be buying it for the brand. It may be to brag about, about how new and powerful it is. Or it could be about bragging about how uncomfortable it is to make you seem like a hardcore driver. So the reason I also didn't want to buy a more aggressive, powerful car, because while I do go to the track on occasion, it doesn't warrant me buying something a lot more aggressive. And to be honest, if I wanted to buy something like a 675LT, 720S, or a P1, with all my YouTube revenue, I could probably only buy a poster of it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.